The Sarasota Music Conservatory has been educating local students for a decade, and they are celebrating with special musical performances and more. Here to tell us all about that is co-founder and CEO, Lana Cambus. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Nearly. Lena. Lena. Thank yes. you. Welcome. Thank you so nice much. Nice to for have you me. here. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell us about the Music Conservatory. Story. Did you start it 10 years ago? We did. My husband and I, uh -huh. Sean O'Neill, uh, and I uh, co-founded it in 2008. And um, we, back then we had a thriving violin studio together and we felt strongly oh. that um, our students deserved even more than just uh, private violin lessons. So we decided to uh, look at the European conservatory format, which is how I grew up and where I got my music education from. And we loved envisioning a platform for students in Sarasota to be able to meet other uh, students like them, uh, meet other instrumentalists as well. So we organized and we asked some of our best friends and colleagues in town if they wanted to join forces with us and form a music school. So we, at this point, we offer private and group uh, music lessons in most instruments for all ages and levels. Um, and we basically offer way more than lessons. We, our goal is really to um, emphasize on the, the fact that there's much more to uh, learning an instrument. So mm -hmm. for example, we offer group classes uh, such as solfege. Solfege is ear training, uh, theory, and uh, we offer these classes weekly for our students. So then they have a, uh, a means to, um, to reinforce their, uh, uh, how to learn a song, you know, um, um, so are they listening to other students or are they... They're singing, they're, they're sight singing, they're okay. learning how to read music, how to recognize you know, what they're hearing, for example. It's a really uh, global approach. Okay. Then we offer uh, chamber music lessons. We offer uh, outreach concerts. Mm -hmm. So they have many, many performance opportunities throughout the year. Every couple of months we take them and uh, we organize a little concert and we take our students students to rehab centers, nursing homes, and oh, they perform uh, for their residents. Uh, the other things we offer are workshops throughout the year and during actually the past 10 years we've done, we've created so many programs and I'm, I'm super proud of what we've, we've done and mm -hmm. especially what we've offered the students. Uh, for example, we took over uh, 25 students to France and Italy for oh summer uh, festivals. Um, and we also um, uh, you collaborate do. with other art organizations. Yeah, too, we do. Right? What do you we, do there? Well, um, we, for example, if you come to our facility, you will enjoy uh, artwork from students from the Ringling um, College. Really? And yes, well, how lovely. And, yeah, I, I work there. You know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we have quite a bit of work, and anybody is that's welcome great. to uh, come in and okay. enjoy their work. Okay. We also uh, collaborating for the second year in a row with the Sarasota Ballet Conservatory. Mm -hmm. We have a student string quartet that is performing with them in their showcase and um, they will actually probably uh, showcase as well during our celebratory event. Okay and what is that all about your 10th anniversary that's amazing tell us about that. So we came up with the idea of celebrating our students first and foremost so we will have it's it's going to take place at the Be Beatrice Friedman um, Symphony Center the Sarasota Orchestra's home and we will uh, have from 1 to 4 p.m. on May 19th, mm -hmm. it's a Sunday, uh, student performances, um, short little concerts so people can come in and go, um, come in and go, yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, no need for ticket reservation, it's uh, free to oh, all. Oh, that's lovely. And that's lovely. Um, after that, at 5 p.m., we have a faculty and friends concert and reception. That's going to be uh, basically uh, some of our uh, renowned faculty. Daniel mm -hmm. Jordan, concertmaster of Sarasota Orchestra, is on faculty. Uh, he will be performing alongside his students. Um, our um, also our friends um, and colleagues will uh, will join us. And, uh, and that's all on May 19th. May 19th at from what 5 time? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. That okay. one's at 5 p.m. And right after we have a great end of the day party reception with uh, Matt Bacolic Jazz Trio, 
who will entertain us and we'll have a champagne bar and And this is catering. all complimentary? No. No, that is That not. 5 p.m. Okay. concert and reception is $100 per ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, $75 is tax deductible. As I said, we're not, not for profit. Uh -huh. And um, we basically hope to uh, reinforce our scholarship fund through our fundraiser. Wonderful. Um, now, where can Efforts. our viewers go to get tickets for that lovely party? Um, on our website, okay. Sarasota Music Conservatory. Sorry, Sar Sarasota Music Conservatory mm -hmm. and it's right on the front page. You have a link to our PayPal, or uh, you know, any information okay. is there. And where are you physically located? Where do you give the lessons? We are located on Main Street, right downtown, uh, which is very important to us to be in the midst of the local arts organizations. 1693. Main Street. Okay. And, and are you open five days a week? What are your hours? We open like? seven days a week and uh, we're very, very flexible. That's the beauty of being a small organization. We have very flexible faculty members and you can have a lesson on s at 7 p.m. on a Sunday if... Um, if that's your only but, time allowance, yes, right? That's okay. right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and um, I'm sure they're all looking, all the students are looking forward to these performances and thank you for all your hard work. Thank you so much for having me. Next on Suncoast FYI, we get an inside look at a film that premiered at the Sarasota Film Festival.